must be Kay Hay with my brother. So this is very a light-hearted story though. So the story is how I committed a crime of passion at the age of eight. So let's set the scene. <laughs> so I had this girl in primary school in grade, I was in grade two, yes, and this girl, she was Miss Perfect, she was loved by the teachers, she did everything right, nothing wrong past her. So if you did something wrong, she would definitely tell the teacher, say, hey, ma'am, you know? But I, I was in a Model C school, so obviously, ma'am, you know? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so she was a bit of a to tell, you know? I didn't hate her, but I didn't like her, so, <laughs> yeah. And then there was this boy. Hey. <laughs> 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 I had a huge crush. Oh, oh girl. girl. And everyone loved him. Would get along with everyone. Like with the black kids, with the white kids, the colored kids, everyone was just loving this kid, right? So my crush started in grade one and it continued to grade two and I thought, you know what, this year is my year. You know, so I was a very shy child, so I thought maybe one day, you know, I would get the courage to talk to him. So, I don't know if you know this, and um, there was this game called Foursquare, where you had a yeah. play with a tennis ball. It was a very fun game. So, every first break and second break, we would, my friends and my crush's friends would meet up and play, right? But then, as time went by, my crush started not coming at the same time. Like it was one o'clock, we always had uh, our break time at one, and he so suddenly kind of would come maybe 15 minutes later. And I was very disappointed because he would make my day. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking, ah, like, I always talk to you at break. Now you not talking to me because you're going to decide to come late. No, oh, this is not right. Uh, so, I thought, okay, what's going on? Like, you're not, you're not the same person. You don't have to So then, I heard a rumor that actually, my crush was hanging around with this girl at this love tree that most Kids would stay and eat their lunch, you know, and would like couple up. They say no, and I didn't know who this who this girl was, so I had to find out. Yes. So then I went to the street, and do you know who that girl was? The perfect one. Mind you, this girl sat next to me. <laughs> okay. So then I decided, you know what? Oh, let me go back. So there was this play that um, it was the end of the school play, and the leading role was really casted to my crush because everyone loved him. Okay. So we had to wait for, we had to actually see who's going to be the leading lady, right? So I was thinking, okay. I mean, this is an opportunity for me to be more invited here. I thought, you know what? You know, let me be extra good in class. Like, pick up my hand when I need to ask yes, questions. Yes. Yeah. Make myself known. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm here. But, no. <laughs> I was casted as a backup. Backup. That's One of the people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> in the shadows. <laughs> so, again. Who got chosen for the oh, role? Girl. The girl. <laughs> the girl. Yes. <laughs> the girl got chosen for the role. So I thought, you know, this is like a tipping point for me. I mean, I've been trying my best to get to this attention from this boy, but nothing, nothing's happening. So I thought, you know what? While I was going to class, 
and the teacher was teaching, was at the board, no one was looking, well, everyone was looking at the board, and I thought, you know what, here's this pencil bag that she has, had a Powerpuff Girl pencil bag, and she adored her things, like she was very specific of not people touching her things, and out of spite, I took her bag. Pencil bag. And I put it in my bag. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> so, no, no. <laughs> so, I <laughs> so I went home. On, like, so I take a bus home, and a 20 minute bus ride home was like two hours now because I'm thinking, wow, what is my mom going to say? about me stealing a pencil bag mm -hmm. and is my mom gonna find out where I'm gonna hide this pencil bag and what about my sister? My sister's not gonna be right? happy about this because at that time, a month ago, my dad actually passed away. So I knew that if I would bring anything wrong to the household, I would disappoint my mom. Mm -hmm. And I thought, no, I can't do this to my mom. So I decided, okay. I go home, I tell my sister, what can I do about this? <laughs> my sister was like, you did what? <laughs> <laughs> Put the pencil bag back. Okay, I said. I go home, I go back to school the next day. And then as Oh, I was, I made sure that I'll be the first person to come into class. And at, in primary school, they had like these satchels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the back of the, yeah, the, back of the chairs. So then I thought, you know what? She's not gonna recognize it being there yesterday and not being there today. So I thought, you know what? Let me just slip it there while she's not looking. So that's what I did. But then, few years later, I actually forgot about this story until I got reminded by my sister. She said, what were you thinking that day? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, I was in love. <laughs> <laughs>